gonna just be random and play this first. Uh, sure, can play this. Uh, we'll submit zero. Auto pay. Unfortunately, it's gonna copy that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, it's going pretty well now. It's going pretty well. Uh, I mean, sure, honestly. Uh, oh, I can choose this side, okay. I didn't know that, so even if I hit Yadzi, I can actually play the actual other side of it. Uh, you know what? Sure. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody! Today, we're playing a deck which is so nuts that I had to buy some actual nuts, but this is half true, so... This the true part of this story is that I went to the Japanese Amazon to buy some nuts. You'd have to hear this story, it's so good. <laughs> to buy some just raw hazelnuts, nothing else. Went to the J Japanese Amazon store, and this is what I saw. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you. Okay, I don't know, this just cracked me up so much. Okay, <laughs> again, this is just raw hazelnuts, one kilogram of them. Product description. One of the world's three largest nuts. <laughs> This is the first lie of many. I don't know if you've seen the hazelnut. It's probably one of the smallest nuts in the world. I can't really come up with any nut, which is actually, which is actually smaller than the hazelnut. It's a very small nut, but okay, sure. <laughs> They're really trying to sell this to us here. In the second of all, okay, these are, by the way, these are raw. They're not roasted or anything. Turkish unglazed hazelnuts. <laughs> It's just the unglazed here, which I think is perfect. Did they first glaze the nuts, and then they removed the glazing? What? What's the deal? <laughs> They're just raw nuts, okay, sure. Un unroasted, unglazed hazelnuts. Then they have a little bit of a description here. If, you, if you're somehow shopping for a kilogram of hazelnuts, but you don't know the taste, <laughs> this line here will tell you. It has a creamy taste, with a crisp texture <laughs> like most nuts <laughs> have a crispy texture but sure and then the last line just addictive nuts <laughs> with those with those nutters out of the way today we're playing strict save of course how does this relate to nuts well this deck is nuts when we go off with the new card of course which is Yatsi not to be confused with the game Yatsi is her name is Yatsi Oracle of or Caviar, a beautiful name. <laughs> so, this guy, as many guys in Strix Ivan, has Magecraft. What does Magecraft do? Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a non land card, you may cast that card by paying one colorless rather than paying its mana cost. If it's a land card, put it onto the battlefield. So, what of course you can do with this card is that if you have everything in your deck be an instant sorcery, because she also has a left side, so you can play. The journey to the oracle of this, you can play your entire deck as long as you have manas. <laughs> Which is kind of the problem with this deck. So how are we gonna play, you know, things forever or almost forever? Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have, of course, Alrun's Epiphany so that when we eventually run out of manas with this, we can just take another turn after this. That, so that's one way. We also have, of course, Explosive Welcome, another new card from Strixhaven. It is 5 damage on a target and 3 damage to any other target and you get 3 mana. So, of course, this is only gonna cost 1 mana to play with Yadzi, so it's pretty good and it gives us a little bit of mana. We just continue, continue, playing cards, playing cards, playing cards, playing cards, and hopefully not drumming out of cards in the deck. That's usually the most scary part about playing this deck. We also have another new mechanic here, which is the learn mechanic from Strixhaven. So we have one of the cards which have this mechanic is Divide by Zero. Return target spell or permanent with a mana value of one or greater to its owner's hand. I think this is one of the best actually learn cards. Usually learn cards are a little bit weaker because the learn mechanic is kind of strong. And as you can see uh, here on the right side, learn. You may reveal a lesson card you own from outside the game and put it into your hand. And they've also changed the rules a little bit. So if since we're playing in best of one now, we can only have seven cards in our sideboard. So that's a little bit sad. So we can have a couple of lessons that can find these. In most cases, we're just gonna find environmental sciences. Uh, we're gonna search for a basic land card with this lesson, I'm gonna gain two lives. So we're just gonna try to fish out all of the land so that we don't accidentally halt when we go off with Jadzi, essentially. Uh, we have some other cool tricks here, we can play Teaching of the Arcase. If our opponent 
happens that more cards reach out than us. Which I think never happened, but you know, still. If an opponent has more cards in hand than you, draw two cards. Draw three cards if an opponent has at least four more cards than you. Uh, then we also have Introduction to Annihilation, Exile Target Non-Land Permanent, and Control draws a card, and Mascot Exhibition. Creates a 2-1, a 3-2, and a 4-4, which I thought could potentially be useful, maybe in this deck. Other than that, it's just a lot of instant sorcery, and every instant sorcery that is also a land. So you have Seagate, Restoration, Balakuts, Shlundi, uh, Shatter, Skull, Spike Van Hassel. But how do you say? How are we gonna get Yadzi down without just immediately dying? Well, here's, here's the trick that we got going here to actually be able to play Yadzi. What we're gonna do is we're gonna play. Let's see, we're gonna play Unruins Epiphany. But before we play Unruins Epiphany, we're gonna t play a Teach by Example, which also gonna trigger Magecraft later on. But that's not too relevant. So, Teach by Example is another new card from Strixhaven. Whenever you cast an uh, instant or sorcery spell, then no, oh, whenever you cast the next instant sorcery spell, you copy that spell and you may choose a new target. So, if you play this with other Runes Epiphany, you get two turns, of course. And then you just put down Yadzi on your second turn, and then you have another turn with Yadzi and Antat Manas, and then you can just go off completely and hopefully just win with that. So, uh, we also have some other cool cards, such as in Igneous Inspiration, which is 3 damage and target. I think this is pretty nice also, a learn card. And we get to pick up, in most cases, just the environmental sciences and uh, fish out the lands from the deck, because that's kind of important to not fizzle, fizzle out in any way. Uh, we also have Expressive Iteration, which is another new card from Strix 7. Look at the top 3 cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, one of them on the bottom of your library, and exile one of them. You may play the exile cards. It's a little bit of card advantage. Uh, see the truth is kind of cool because if you remember uh, you just get to look at the top three cards and put one into your hand if you're playing it from your hand but if you're playing it from your library which you do with Yadzi you get to draw three of them. That thought was pretty cool. That is pretty much yeah. Okay so it's a little bit weird when you're playing a lot of eight drops and you have six lands in the deck. <laughs> Sometimes everybody we're not gonna get exactly what we want in life. Sometimes it's just not gonna go that way, but sometimes it's gonna be glorious. When we eventually get to <laughs> solve the explosive welcome, it's gonna be pretty good, I think. Pretty good. Tommy. The, the forest, okay. Uh, I think we're gonna see the truth there. The truth shall set you free, Chris. What is the truth? The truth is... I'm gonna hoon some guys with Jadzi today. Yahtzee. Not to be uh, confused with the, the game, Yahtzee. I don't think anyone did, but... <laughs> you know, just to be sure. See the truth. Mm -hmm. I guess Yahtzee would be kind of ballers to pick that up now that we need the manas. Nah, we can't pick it up. Can we? Can we pick it up now? No, we need the manas too much. I think we need to be reasonable. Bad. Bad, eh? Tommy, forest, forest, green dude coming down there. Two drops, some kind of man dude, maybe? Ah, these though, maybe I should have mulliganed, because they are not super good in the hand right now. Not at all super good, will admit that much. Uh, I think, here's what we will Shlundi. And we gotta find, ooh, Divide by Zero is actually pretty nice. So we can find lands also with that, that's, that's really nice also. Wildwood Scourge, okay. Whenever one or more plus counters are put on other non hydra creatures, you can put a plus counter on Wildwood Scourge, okay? So this guy's gonna grow, maybe. Because he has a lot of plus counters. Ooh! Does it trigger for every plus counter? So this gets, like, if he now plays. Let's see, the Giant. No, I don't think that's over. He only triggers once, right? The giant, which enters with. Ooh, my god, you have. Gem Laser. I see a really good follow up, I gotta say. I haven't played Magic in such a long time, I forgot you were even mutators. Of course, this one of you. Of course, that's a marvelous idea. Okay, we'll put this down tapped. Prepare to divide by zero at some point. He's probably just gonna smack in with this. He knows we have divide by zero. I mean, he probably hasn't read the card yet, but still. Okay, draws a card. And Gem Razor comes cracking in. We'll divide him by zero. <laughs> and then 
environmental sciences seems pretty nice. I could play this for zero now. Wouldn't be too amazing, but I could do it. It would kill it immediately. Um, so I think the environmental sciences. We need a red source here. Or do we? To play the shatter skull, maybe. We might need it. We'll see. Uh, we'll put this down. Or down. And I think we're doing pretty good. We're having double explosive welcome in the opening end. I think we're kind of doing stuff there. Things are happening, I feel like. Gamers, he could put that on long visionary, and he's so feeling like it, yeah? And he does. Okay, luckily we don't have any enchantments or artifacts, so this usually this is really good against our decks, but that doesn't really matter. It's max in. We could just get rid of it. I mean, we could also shatter Skull Smash, can we? Let's see if X is 6 or more, this is twice X. Uh, not really there yet, no. Not really there yet. Um, we could Inscription of Ruin to return the Gem Racer. That's one possibility. We could Igneous Inspiration, deal 3 damage to it, and search for a land. Nah, that doesn't seem like super strong, honestly. I think it's what I do. We put this down tapped. We have to bounce it, don't we? Nah! Now we don't have to. We, we, we smack his face with this. Hmm. Environmental sciences. Let me just, just heal a little bit. Let's heal out of this trouble we got ourselves into. Up to 15. We're still healthy. I don't think he's gonna kill us from this position. I don't think so. I mean, he might, but probably not. And now we have explosive. Let's see. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. We're almost at explosive welcome. Almost. Very, very close, I would say. Tommy, though. They have another mutator. Oh. Wildwood Scourge. Okay. Two counters on. And three manas. Another mutator on the Wildwood Scourge? No? You're about That's gonna trigger this. I mean, it only triggers one time. This was the thing I was talking about in the beginning. When I couldn't express myself as per usual. I thought I was doing something like that. Okay, so let's see here. If we now... I mean, we have to play this. There's just no other way around it. Uh, this thing. Return up to two target creatures. What do we return, even? I think we return... Do we not return the gem racer, maybe? Because then we will take four. But this is so annoying for him, because he has to play everything again. I think I do this. Because no matter what I do, I'm gonna take 4 damage. He's gonna buff this guy up, surely. But I don't think there's too, too much we can do about that. Put this down tapped. Pass the turn. Oh wait, I could have also played Alrun's Epiphany. Then the turn after, Explosive Welcome. Would that have been better? It might have been better, but then we couldn't have combo, so... Let's see. Let's see. And this leads us. Oh! Bran Brontodon! Brontodon, not Brontodon. Okay. Well, this should be able to deal some kind of damage now, right? If it deals six and deals twice six, yeah, I haven't calculated, but I'm pretty sure this kills everything, right? Six. If X, X is six or more, okay. So we need to deal 4 to you, and 2 to you. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, 3. Okay, we, we actually had... I thought we'd do the thing where we actually put out X and then it would double that, but no. No. We got uh, twice the amount of damage. I got super confused there. As per usual. But now it's fine, everybody. And now I'm called down. Calm down my brain to a normal state. Maybe. Hopefully, it doesn't have hasters. That would be very good for him. Okay. Tommy, Yorvo. I think there's gonna be an explosive welcome here. Very, very soon. Lone or Visionary. Okay. Well, they are kind of lining themselves up to be schnoon by this, I feel like. Uh. 
Or do are we dealing Yes, we're dealing the correct way now. Okay, unfortunately we don't have anything we can do with that three balance, but whatever. That was a pretty good uh, explosive balance card. Gotta say, I, mean, I don't think he was expecting it. At all. At all. Okay, so we want Yadzi down. So I think there's two ways we get Yadzi down. Either we kill everything he has, and then we play Yadzi. That's one way of doing things. Or we know we need to get off the combo with that rune there. Which you might be able to. Might be able to. Gem Razor. Does he expect a second explosive outcome? That's the question. Or do we? Do we do the... Uh, we kinda need to. Kinda need to, okay? Bloop, bloop. Okay. Got three mana which you still can't do much with. Uh, do we put this down? That's the question. I think it's pretty good in the hand. I think we keep it in the hand. For the time being. For the time being. It's not the 14 though. Just from random explosive welcomes and stuff. That's pretty... Wow. Radiant Fountain with your Yorbo. Okay. That's ballers, gotta say. I will, uh, I will compliment you on having quite the, the cojones. You claim the wastes, okay? Find some basics. I mean, if you could just find the combo, that would be so nice. He might have a way of killing. I mean, he surely has a way. It's a kind of fighting spell or something. Some way of killing Yadzi. I would be very surprised if he doesn't. He's also probably playing something for his seven mana here. When he plays that forest, seven manas, another Brontodon or something. A gem Razor. Okay. Funnily enough... Uh, let's see here. We can do this for four to kill it. And then we can play something else also. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, wait. Among up to X targets. Yes, this should work. Yes, yes. <laughs> So confused when I play with this spell. Way too confused. Okay. Expressive iteration. Okay. One into our hand. That's gonna be the divide by zero, sure. Uh one into our library. Uh sure. And this thing we can play now, but we don't have enough mass, so it's gonna go away. And turn. Sure. Tommy though. He's gonna have yet another creature. <laughs> we're gonna burn the giant burn spells. Oh, we're so close! Can't we just get the combo with all rune? I don't want to gamble the Yancy. I really don't want to gamble the Yancy. Maybe I'll have to, but I uh, hope I don't have to. Okay. 3 3. Give me a little reach there. Thank you, noise. I thought we'd go for the minus 2 here. Combat up with a creature now. Maybe it doesn't have any creatures now. That's. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, we're not. Oh! The problem is we get the things in the wrong order. <laughs> so when we eventually get to the part where we get Yadzi off, I don't think we're gonna have any spells to play. That's kind of the problem now, okay? Maybe he will run out of spells though. He could just be forests from now on. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Explosive welcome. Played three of them this game. That's kind of nice. We're still holding on to Yahtzee. Come on now, deck. Come on now, we can do it. We can find our unruined combo. We can do it. Okay. That is quite baller, sir. Um, yeah, he's kind of he's kind of big, gotta say. I think we just do this. Though. We divide this by zero. And what to pick up now? Do we pick up something different? A mascot exhibition, maybe? Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe that's... I don't know. I don't know. We've, we've gone so far and done so many things here. We haven't really done anything with that, you know, seems the game, though. That is dangerous, though. Epic proportions, gotta say. We have another more... And other more, and other epic proportions. Does he? Will this just turn out to be a really shitty pickup? That's what I'm wondering now. I would scourge. Okay, kills that. <laughs> Did he pay for that? No, we just. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Oh, 
I would really get things in the absolute worst order, but that's fine. Because now we've killed every creature he has with explosive welcomes. So now we have to find the way to come with the other one. We've been through half the deck. We've been through half the deck. Now we have to find it. I mean, the more than half the deck. I mean, it was so awesome. We've probably been through like 40 cards. So it's been a little bit on the unlucky side, I think. Uh, but we haven't really found it yet. Oh, okay. Well, that thing, I think we just see it. Restoration. Seagate Restoration. Okay, now we have the combo. I mean, it would be surprised if we didn't have the combo. After all we've done there, if we didn't have the combo at this point, that wouldn't have been good news, honestly, for the deck. Uh, yeah, I mean, we teach by example. Uh, we probably would have won this without Yadi. Yeah, sure, but, you know. <laughs> but, you know, we also got Yadi, okay? And a turn. Get another turn. We have some kind of mono green removal, I don't think so. Yachty. Uh sure, we smack in with these guys. And I think Yachty's gonna go up pretty good here. And a turn. Ooh. What are we gonna play? I think we're gonna just be random and play this first. Uh sure, can play this. Uh we'll submit zero. Auto pay. Of course it's gonna copy that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yep! Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going pretty well now! It's going pretty well! Uh, I mean, sure, honestly. Uh, oh, I can choose this side, okay? I didn't know that, so even if I hit Yadzi, I can actually play the actual other side of it. Uh, you know what? Sure. <laughs> you know what? Sure, at this point! Put any number of cards. Uh, this card. Okay. I think we got him, right? Uh, sure. Pick that up. Discard a card. Decline. Just by example. Deal three damage. <laughs> Little bit awkward. Little bit awkward. I have to admit. Well, it wasn't yet, like the cleanest of wins, but... At the same time, we kept the hand with double welcome, so... We should bring it. We gotta be up... Do we always have two explosive welcome? Is that how... Is that just how we roll? I mean, we have the entire combo, but this hand sucks. I guess we have Volokot Awakening. I guess we kind of... You, you know... You don't think about it, but that's kind of the perfect way of using a Volokot's Awakening. We got too many explosive welcomes. Or, it's gonna turn out to be a mistake of me not wanting these in the opening. I mean, it turned out pretty well last time. Pretty nice. Unfortunately, we played all of them before we played our Yancy, which was... Wasn't really ideal, but you know. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Okay. Volakut Stone Forge. Hopefully we'll find another land there, or a way of finding a land. Oh, this music is... Beautiful in its own ways, okay? Put this down tap. <laughs> That's gonna be the best this you could ever do. Ah, this is... You're beautiful in your own way. <laughs> Why in my own way? I want to be beautiful in the general way. Yeah, but you're not. <laughs> no, don't worry. You are beautiful, no matter what to say. As the lyrics go. You are beautiful, no matter what they say. Uh, I mean, this happened to me. It's pretty non landy, but we have seen the truth. Uh, we have seen. Ooh. I think we're actually good. Maybe not happy with now. Sad. A little bit now. Anyways, okay? Because this can find us land next turn. And we have seen the truth to find us land. Experimental sciences, okay? Four manas, more giants, maybe. Bone crushers. Rockamocka phones. It could teach by example to. Now we can't. If we draw a lab. Assault a lab. Wow. It's X damage and target. X is number two, okay? That one damage it was. Uh, I can tell you that I really would love to have a lab there. So I think we'll. Experimental sciences. We'll pick up the island. 
Uh, but on the island, then we'll see the truth. To hopefully find a land. Hopefully finding a land. Okay, pick up the land. We are gonna take some damage here. That is going to happen, but we can divide by zero. Which hopefully will save us here. Plus of majesty, wow. Even with upkeep, if you can only with power 4 or greater, you draw a card. Smacks it down to 13. Like the baller boss he was. Uh, I think since we have so many of these, right? I'm gonna teach by example. This thing goes back. And this thing goes back. And you have to play for them all again! Oh! Experimental sciences. Do we pick up something except for experimental sciences? I don't think so. I think we just max out on life gain. It's pretty nice to have access actually to life gain. I think like this is a card. Uh, oh, this is a card. Really, Chris? <laughs> there was a continuation to that, to be fair. But then I got uh, confused. Should I kill this? Five, five. No. No, we gotta get a two for one with this thing, right? I land you. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Environmental sciences, pick up the mountain. Maybe I should have the teach by exam? No, because we didn't have any more land, so it is perfect. I did it in the perfect way. I played, played actually perfectly. I don't know if you noticed. It was the perfect play. Zero mistakes, Chris, that's what they call me. The man who has not made a single mistake in his life. Kind of an achievement, I would say. Making zero mistakes. We come to heaven and God is just like... Well done! <laughs> you passed all my trials! You're the first one! Okay. First one to come to heaven or something. It's an empty... Nobody has been able to pass in there before. <laughs> and you're the only one. They were kind of lonely. You and this god guy. Uh, I think we return these two. Mm. Or do we expressive iteration first? To see what we can find. Maybe we'll do that. That's kind of smart, actually. Okay, so let's see here. One into our hand. That would be the all rune. Because then we have the combo. Shlundi. I don't want the Shlundi. And exile the Shlundi. And unfortunately, we can't do anything with the Shlundi because we need to play this. But still. Still, we did our thing there. Okay, return two creatures. Boop, boop. And yeah. Let's see. Seven, eight, nine if we want to play them. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, we block with Yachi! <laughs> Maybe. We'll just block. Could be a way of doing things. I don't often block, but... Could be a nice thing to do now, with Yadzi. That's in green, we can actually play the journey to the world, okay? Almighty brush wag. Brushing his wag. He's just brushing his wag right now. Okay, Colossal Majesty. Delicate Awakening. Interesting, I think... Oh, I, I think I misplayed there. I should have played this as a land and played Yads. No, then I couldn't have played Yadzi. Rackers. I think we need to play Yadzi, but he, I mean... Does he not have a removal spell? I mean, maybe he doesn't. Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> we doesn't have it. Maybe we could also save our but we have another Yadzi, so we just play it and hope. Hope and pray that we don't die. I think it's gonna get fought here. Some kind of fight spell on the Ayori, and then we're gonna lose. It's probably what's gonna happen. Here. Let's see though. Let's see. We could have played this also, but it would uh, would have given us another turn, I guess. Um, is there anything else we could have done there? Could have hold up onto the inscription of insight a little bit longer, maybe. Maybe. Squash! Okay, but he's not dealing that much damage, though. Six damage. So if we get another land, do I think we get him? We get an undead land, that is. Okay. 
Nej, det är fint. Det är inte så mycket, alltså. Nu kan vi spela en Yahtzee. Possibility, okej? Okay? Only the brushwag! Oh, this can't attack. That's kind of nice for us. Um, do we play another Yadzi? No, 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 no. Here's what we do. We play Shloon Divisions. See what we can find with a Shloon. Probably something which does something. Uh, like, for instance... Uh, Shatter Skull? Uh, for three. Play... Kill the brush bag and the carrier to take five and be fine. Yeah, that, that seems pretty good. That seems pretty good. So play this for uh, two, two damage onto two targets. So kill this and this one on one. Yes, perfect. And the next turn, if I haven't miscalculated, but I don't think I have, we're gonna have nine, right? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Then we can get the teach by example. I don't keep people in combat, which is kind of amazing. Kind of amazing. He might kill us here, but I don't think so. It's a possibility. Okay. I'm gonna Hydra. Nessian Horned Bull. Now this can attack him, though, because he controls a creature with power four greater. So go down to seven. But now, senor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'll run the pip on it. Double troubles. Yes, blinks. And here comes the Yatsi. Oh. Hopefully that's not a fight spell or something. And I'll be so sad. Okay. Smacks in. I think I'll actually just play this. Tapped. And end the turn. We have another turn here. Okay, what do we lead off with, though? I think we lead off with the... Uh, the cheapest thing, probably. The teach by example. <laughs> and then we'll something random. Sure. Orpe. What else are we gonna hit? Okay. Uh, kill this, sure. Orpe. Ooh, another tower now. Sure. One more. Uh, sure. We'll pay this side, Orpe. Explosive welcome, don't mind that. Uh, we'll, let's see here, five to this and three to this. Yes. <laughs> Spike will answer, uh, to start working on this thing? Think so, okay. Ooh. Yeah. And we will return up to targets, return you. Yeah. For one mana, so that's pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, draw two. Okay. Uh, sure. Bounce this. <laughs> uh, sure. Yes. Yes. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can't pay more mana. Okay. We can't. Sure. Uh, sure. Whatever. We'll take those. That's okay. We gotta just clear up everything. That's pretty nice. Okay. Three manas there. Discard a card. Nah. I think so. I think I'm pretty happy with this. I think this is going pretty well. Uh, let's see, one into our hand. Wait, well, why would we put that into our hand? Thinking about things. Uh, sure, whatever. Yep. Doesn't matter, okay? Teach by example. And uh, sure, we'll smack it. I don't think we even need it that much. Okay, down to nine. A turn, get another turn. Oh well, actually we kill him now, so... Okay. <laughs> kill three damage, just this. Just to be cool. Or pay. And you sort of... Oh wait. It's risky. Oh, we're gonna kill ourselves or something with this now. Uh, cancel. Be glad. We got it. We got it, everybody. I just wanted to... Play some extra spells. <laughs> Get some manas. Oh, we can actually kill him with this. Oh! Oh! Decline. Oh, oh, okay. He's dead, but. Nah. Nah. Nah, his hands a little bit. Stinkly dinkers, I would say. Mulligan. Mulligan, this looks fine. 
Right? Yeah, that's good. That's good. We only need one leech, by example, so we'll skip another one. I mean, it's pretty good. We have uh, Spike Will Hassel, we have Yadzi. When we eventually, at some point, we're gonna need it. At some point, it's gonna be good. That point is uh, far in the future, but still. It's a life point, sure. We put this down tapped. I think this is kind of a good card. It's just me. Three damage for three is kind of, you know, not a bad deal. And then you get to learn on top of this. That is pretty nice. Unfortunately, it's a sorcery, though. I don't think of it. That's kind of poop. Kind of poop, but it's kind of nice when it plays the Polywon symbiote. Okay? Of the environmental sciences. And let's see. It plays nothing. That's nice. Then we'll go for a red. Do we need another red? Do we need double red for anything in this deck? Do we need. I don't think we do. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll put this down. Oh, wait. No, I should have put down the spike field hazard, but I didn't. Didn't do it. Didn't want to do it. I thought about doing it, but then didn't do it. Okay. My turn. He's really not doing anything, that guy. Not doing anything. Uh, well, I guess we scry, right? Scry and draw. Counter spell? That's a possibility, at least. And sitting up with four manas. Would be weird if he went. Okay, no. Didn't say place, he has a little bit of mill also. Mill and mutators. Yuk for. <laughs> Yuk for her. Okay. Mm. Well, we actually don't really have that much here, so we'll, uh, we'll put it down tapped. Next turn, we'll have the explosive welcome. Hopefully, he has another mutator. Smack down the mute. Explosive welcome, but honestly, honestly, it's been pretty good. It's just me. It could just be me, but I think it's been kind of good. Maybe I should have played a teach by example, as we got double expressive iteration. So he might counter this also. He might, or he might be thinking, oh, he has four mana open. Maybe he doesn't have, you know. Okay, one into our hand. I think we take the teach by example into our hand. We put the teach by example uh, library there, and then we have this there so we can play it. And we do the scry and draw. And try to find some lands here. He probably counters this now though. I didn't say please. But I think it's coming down there. We do have a series of teach by example. Down and lock, okay. So instead of going rogues, he went frogs. That's a possibility. Uh -huh. We just play this. What is the odds? Or what are the odds of him not having a counter? I think very low. That. I mean, if he's not doing anything, if he's just sitting with the counters. At some point, he runs out of counters, right? Or does he not? I mean, there are a lot of counters in the standard. They might just be. Uh, I think I'll do double Shlundi. So, teach by example. Let's see if he allows this. If he counters it. It's okay if he counters it. Don't mind it too, too much. He didn't care about it, though, okay? Double Shlundi. <laughs> okay. We got a copy, we got a copy, touch spell, touch spell, copy touch spell, touch spell, touch spell. He could counter one of them, and he's surely gonna do that. With something, I probably I didn't say please, I think. Okay, here though, I think we will pick up... What do I pick up even? This could force us another counter, surely, if we double our hand size. I don't think he's gonna like that. Another Shloon Division, which could find... Ooh, where's actually the combo? I think it's gonna be difficult to get off the combo versus this guy, but... I'm gonna try, right? So, for tell you. And pass turn! Oh, should I have played this? <laughs> 
I think we probably need to play like double teach by example or something. We play teach by example, then we play another teach by example, then it double copies that teach by example, right? <laughs> and then we play all rune. So that gets double copied. Yeah, yeah, it should work. Underworld Sentinel. That's what you were hoarding, sir. Okay, uh, we're gonna pay those three life points. I think we got him there. Right? Okay. Teach by example. I'll ruin the pivot, eh? <laughs> that was pretty nice. Then we put on you. Then we smack in. I think I just want more mana here. I'm just gonna put this down tapped. And the turn. <sighs> okay. I think we go off with this. Because it's the most hilarious to go off with, okay? Definitely that, yes. One manas. Ah, uh, sure. One manas. Sure. <laughs> no! No! Yes, yeah, I said, there might be a couple of stinkly dinger sounds. I think this is one of them. Well, again. It's a lot of lands. Keep. <laughs> First sign of a good hand. What do we not do we not keep Yancy? It is a little bit late game, so I think we'll actually skip on Yancy there. I know it's complete heresy to skip on Yancy, but I think we'll find Yancy anyways. I think so. Pelika. Just gonna play. Green! And she Um. Mm -hmm. Put it down. Do we divide that by zero? It's not the best target to divide by zero. I'm gonna try it. Not the best one. Okay. Ooh. He's going off now. No, and we don't have any removal spell. Um. We could bounce the Adwo Shawl Inkeep because that probably buys us a little bit of time. I think. Or maybe not. Do we bounce it during his... Oh, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Let's bounce it during his upkeep. Now we'll, we'll see. We'll see. If we will draw a card from this, that's fine. As long as we don't die, I think we can just weather any storm in this deck. Probably. Probably that's the case. Probably maybe. The good old probably maybe, okay? Blossoming Sands. And... Well, now then, now we divide by zero. Ooh. And environmental sizes, sure. Just lands, lands, lands. That's all we need. All we ever needed was another lane. Was another lane, was another lane. All I ever needed was another lane. We could also hit land with this. This kind of shit that I haven't had. Nah, now nah, we play this. Play this, we find the red manas. That's gonna be good. And then we just put this down. Tapped. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know why I thought so much about it. I mean, there's a lot of options here, honestly. What to put down, what to do, what to win. But I think what we're doing here, we want to play Shatter Skull Smash and kill these dudes. I think that's what we want. Probably. Problem maybe. Three manas. Lika. Fairy guide mother. Man, he's banking on that hedge ball. Gotta say. Gotta say, okay? But luckily though, we have the chatter called smashing. Not smashing now. Okay. Two. One and two for you. Maybe I should have paid one more actually, because he could have something which buffs for one. So if I did one more damage to the Ingib, it could actually have been bad. Because I, I don't have anything to do with last manas anyways. But it didn't matter. Either. Did not really matter. Pelika. Your guide mother, fairy guide mother. Another guide mother? Okay. Uh, each creature you control that has an adventure and spell with a plus card on it. Okay. So the next creature is going to be huge. <laughs> huge back huge. Um, uh, mm-hmm. I think we just bounce you, though. Because that thing is a little bit slow. 
slow, 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 which is perfect. And then we just heal all the damage we took with an environmental sciences. And put this down. And I mean, now we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, gotta say. Pelika. Pelika Peluka. Is he gonna play the mysterious path? Path lighter. Pathfinder. Path lighter, of course. Yes. And then. Max. Max and Dax and the Dims. Well, 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 well. We have. Nothing too, too exciting to be fair. Gamble? Question mark? Yeah, we can. We gamble now. Expressive iteration. Look at the top three cards. Ooh. Um, I don't want any of these cards. <laughs> okay, one into the hand, you say. Uh, frack. Okay, we take that card. That's a decent card. Uh, let's see. One the bottom of your library. That would be Yadzi. And exile this, because we should be able to play this as a land, right? Yes. And tapped. Then there's the question of, do we now bounce these dudes to not take that much damage? I mean, we're taking so little damage. I think we just propel her. Propel! Last turn! And we're down with it. Image down with it. Down with it. Palika? Okay, against life point. Uh, and then... I don't know if... <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I don't know if the Exploding Welcome is really needed in this deck. Well, of course not needed, but you know. <sighs> Thinking about things. <laughs> it's often not super good. <laughs> well, here it kind of works out, to be fair. I take that back. Why don't I play more of this? More than four, I just cheat in a couple of extras, because it's so good. Why don't I do that? Because it's so good. And kill two targets, that's insane, okay? 23, Palika, Paluka, and okay, Raider, yeah. A couple of one ones there. And uh, Giant Killer. He was really banking on that edge one ingi, by the way. Really banking on it. Um, <sighs> we kind of low. We kind of low. I don't think he has a removal spell though. I think he has a tapper. He can deal four. But that's probably all he can do, right? Do you just play Yadzi and we just wing it? Sling it and we wing it. Ah, that's right. That's not good. Yadzi. <laughs> this might not work out. We'll see. We'll see. Might not be the best, but. It could also be the best, we'll see. Alika? Oh, no! Well, what we can do here. Funny targets here. Uh, we can discard a card to return this. Probably the explosive welcome, yeah. And return to his hand. And we will take a lot of damage, unfortunately. Go down to one. Unless he has a buff card. Man, I wish I had a board wipe. <laughs> I wish so much to have a board wipe right now. I wish so... Oh, whoa, 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 not a problem. Not a problem, everybody, because we got the come off. Yep. Uh, almost not so lucky at all. No, 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 no. No, 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 not lucky. <laughs> this game, hardly any luck, I would say. <laughs> okay. I mean, we can smack him with these. I don't think he has vigil or vigilance. Uh, I don't think he has uh, reach or anything. Okay, smack in. Uh, do we... No, we want to play this. So we're gonna end the turn. We're gonna play this for one mana. So this is kind of ideal, actually. Kill you. Uh, yes, very much this. For one mana. Uh, return two creatures to the owner's hands. That's probably gonna be these two tokens here. Kill those, yeah. And... Sure. We'll do the journey. See the truth, yes. Ah, this is not at all what I'm there, but sure. We'll play that also, why not? 
not at all what I want about there either, but... Uh, okay, uh, maybe, maybe... <laughs> this is not good! Okay, we don't have any more battles. Uh, uh, okay, well... Uh, frack. Sure. Get something else, maybe? Something that can do something? Uh, if you take, let's see, one into our hand, that would be a mana that can maybe be used for something. Oh! One on the bottom, okay. Let's see, one into your library. Okay, sure, this maybe. I think I want that in hand. Oh, we, oh, let's see, put any number of cards. We need to get a red, essentially, so I think we'll do this. Try to get a red mana. Didn't get a red mana. Uh, frack, we actually hit really bad. We actually hit really bad. I think we just did this, also. Yeah. Ah, frack. Okay. Well, we have uh, we have cards here. Um, put any number of land cards on the battlefield. Ooh, forgot about that thing. Ooh, so I could have just digged for lands with the journey to the oracle. Ooh, this card a card. Uh, if you do return, nah, we're not get this card. <laughs> are we alive? We are still alive on the board. Because he only has three dudes. But man, we were close to that. We were so close to that. Uh, okay. Well, we can play this as a land. And then we can't do anything else, really. And we just have to hope that he doesn't have a way of killing us here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we would like guaranteed a uh, guaranteed victor there when we went off with Jadzi, but we only hit Valakut's uh, thing there. And I didn't think about the fact that we had the thing where we can put all the land cards in our hands. We should have just digged harder for land cards. Uh, I mean, we don't have too many to be fair. Maybe I have all of them on the battlefield. Ah, okay. Well. Two more dudes. <laughs> We're somehow alive here. That's kind of amazing. That's kind of amazing. We have another turn though, where we can go off. And we have all runes to pip on it. Times two, so. I think we're in good shape. I think we're in really good shape. We'll do this. Magecraft, yes. Yes. Gonna do that. Shlooney, yes. How many cards are left? No, 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 I think we might uh, actually draw too many cards with that, so <laughs> avoid that for one moment. Um, hmm, Shatter Skull, sure. Okay, and we get double turns, and now he's dead, right? Now we just got him. Now we just snooed him. Oh! Oh, okay, this didn't trigger, I thought it would, okay, but we do this though. It's fine. Kill that thing. And we'll copy. And uh, we kill that thing. And... Shh, <laughs> I can't stop going... I can't stop going off! Okay. Uh, what haven't I killed there? This? Sure. Okay, we'll have to decline that, unfortunately. I know I just messed about like a dingus. I know I... Okay, fine. Do it. <laughs> I love that he also can't kill us at this point. It's it's so nice to be at one. Go off, have infinite turns, and just feel nice. Uh, haven't I killed the fairy guy, mother? It's only okay, man. Uh, okay, oh yeah. Didn't have the manas, but that's okay. Because now we smack in and we win. Because we have so many runes. All attack, sure. Doink. Palika. Palika Paluka. We have 16 cards left, so we need to be a little bit careful. Okay, and the turn. Discard a card. Whatever. Not, not lean out of yeah, the And uh, here we should be able to just win, right? So. Play this. We play this. And he's still staying in. That is such a gentleman, gotta say. Okay, return to creatures. Sure. Out of pay. Uh, 
Uh, actually, I think we might get ourselves. Okay, 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 we got it. Friendly neighbor Chris, where will he arrive from this time? Left, right, or center? <laughs> that wasn't, that was from below. I know, I was cheating there. Thank you all so much for watching. And a special thank you, of course, to all the latest members who have joined while I've been away. Where have you been? I've a baked nuts. <laughs> A <laughs> baked cookies containing nuts. That's more accurate. So, <laughs> that's one of the things I've been doing. So, thanks so much to all our members. Thanks so much to Mario, Mario, and Ricky Amorin Coloma, the Rookie Twenty One Gaming, Daily Van, <laughs> Steve Earth, Rory Walsh, Mike Anthony, Biao, oh, Biao. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for joining. Also, thank you. Georgi Mira Miraschev. Miraschev. Yes, comrade. <laughs> so, thank you for joining. Also, thank you, Brinko, Kian Barbieri, and welcome back to Matthias Porley and Jesse W. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Hello, Daniel. And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And. What are you doing here? I'm just here to take those views! No, the, those are my views! Oh, I can explain to you, senor. You see, you have subs 0% uh, and non-subs 100%. Uh, That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little, little thing down there.